started with the simple idea we wanted to make the best vulcanized city sneaker in the world. As we started sort of that journey to find the answer, we, we came across some machines in Slovakia. In a, in a basement in Slovakia. It was an exciting quest, and it wound up bringing us to Thailand. Forged rubber is a process that actually goes backwards in order to move forwards. So Thailand is a really unique place in the world. The rubber tree farms are actually really close to the factory. Rubber has a unique property that after a few days it's not going to cure as well onto the footwear. Having your supply chain really close, your, your manufacturing, your machines, really close to your raw materials is just a, a smart way to make shoes. We needed to find a place that not only had available resources, but also had craftsmen that could make the Forge Rubber shoes to a level of standards that we would, we would hold them to. The Forge Rubber process is completely different, basically, each shoe is made one at a time by hand. Rubber is put into a mold and heated to 300 degrees and then pressure is used to uh, literally forge the sole onto the canvas upper. And when you do that, there's absolutely no chance of separation. Uh, we went back and found the machines from 70 years ago. It's the way that army boots were made, it's a different philosophy. They are the most bomb-proof way to make a shoe that's out there right now. The beautiful thing about living in the city and mobility and, and the urban utility need is that it's universal. It's a, it's a language that transcends cultures. In Thailand, you'll find track bike riders that uh, exhibit the same you know, kind of needs and the same behaviors and you know, that uh, kind of rally around the same things as, as the folks here. We didn't get into this to make another sneaker. From our perspective, the world doesn't need another sneaker, and uh, Forged Rubber is not another sneaker.